Hey everyone, today we're introduced to Jesus' parables. He said, if anyone has ears to hear, let them listen. When they were alone, the people around Jesus, along with the twelve, asked him about the parables. He said to them, the mystery of God's kingdom has been given to you, but to those who are outside, everything comes in parables. This is so that they can look and see, but have no insight. And they can hear, but not understand. Otherwise, they might turn their lives around and be forgiven. Do you understand this parable? And how will you understand all the parables? So that's what we're going to be looking at this week and the rest of this chapter is Jesus' parables, his, his preferred method of teaching, it seems. And the, uh, the basic explanation I was given for what a parable is, is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. And so you see things like nature imagery a lot, uh, stories about weddings or people at work, stories about families. So it's, you know, in some sense, just the idea of, you know, write about what you know and, and try and connect with your audience's experience. But is there more going on with them than that? Uh, why do they, why does Jesus tell them and, and how do they work? And I think an important question today is, do parables make things clearer or do they make them more obscure? So here Jesus is quoting the prophet Isaiah in a statement about those who see and hear, but, but they don't get it. Uh, and so they end up not changing. They don't find forgiveness. And so you, you could read that and, uh, to say uh, Jesus is intentionally trying to hide his message to keep people from finding grace, which, I don't know, that, <laughs> that seems kind of odd, seems kind of unchristlike even, as if he's saying, yeah, only certain cool, smart people get the gospel, like you people. I think instead what he's doing is he's pointing out the difference between hearing and listening. You know, we can often use those, you know, synonymously, but they can also be very different things. You know, I always think of like, with your parents, right? If your mom said, did you hear what I said? You might be able to repeat what she told you, but did you actually listen, right? She said, take out the trash. I could repeat that she said, take it out. But if I didn't do it, well, I wasn't really listening. I think that is what Jesus is talking about here. See, with these parables, you have to put in some work if it's actually going to change your life. These aren't just divine downloads of doctrine. Uh, you know, in this parable he's talking about, the parable of the sower, we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow, right? He's tossing out seed, but we have to encourage it to grow too. And that's why he tells stories, because stories do have more power to actually change us. Uh, they can change the heart better than just telling people doctrine. Uh, right? So this is what Jesus is often doing. You don't tell people what to think. You tell them a story about how your own thinking changed. You kind of get in through the back door, right? Story where, where God made us this way. So stories can get past our defenses. But if you're not paying attention, that's just some little story about seeds or sheep or something. So this week, will you have ears to actually hear what Christ is saying in these stories and what Christ is saying to your life today?